Uh, my name is Josh, and I record and perform under the name Bitshifter, and um, I'm exploring um, video game uh, music made in a video game sort of sound and static, but doing uh, original material. And uh, my name is Jeremiah. I'm um, performing under the name Null Sleep. I compose music for the Nintendo Game Boy and the Nintendo Ent Entertainment System. So tell me more about the music itself. Uh, I guess for my part, what I'm trying to do is explore um, uh, a sound set and, and an aesthetic to an extent that is reserved for, typically reserved for, um, or associated with uh, old video games, dated video games, and um, trying to sort of repurpose both the hardware and that aesthetic, that sort of sound set, uh, into something new. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and the shape that takes depends on sort of my impulse at the time. Um, some of the stuff that I'm doing is is somewhat abstract and beat oriented and some of it is more sort of melodic and uh, and maybe more traditional video game-ish, but, uh, um, but yeah. That's and um, I'm basically probably most interested in uh, the actual process uh, of creating the music uh, for for the different 8-bit uh, eight, eight consoles and handhelds. Um, the challenge of uh, doing as much as you can with uh, limited hardware. So uh, in terms of uh, what Josh said about uh, pushing the 8-bit the aesthetic as far as you can go and repurposing it for uh, things other than its original uh, intent, um, that's kind of what I'm interested in. Uh, usually I, my songs take more of a traditional pop rock song structure and uh, I'm much more interested in the melody than, than the beats and things like that. So how do you guys actually mix those music together? Um, the, most of it is done, actually all of it really is done, at least for the way Jeremiah and I approach the stuff, is done internally um, and it's sort of a, a function of the software we're using. Um, we're both using sort of, uh, well I'm using two different cartridges, I think Jeremiah intended most yeah, of the one, right? Awesome. Yeah, um, one of which is called Little Sound DJ, and one of which is called Nano Loop, and um, they both differ in their interface and in their sort of uh, conceptual model of how to approach um, music making and composition. But ultimately, they both serve um, a similar purpose, which is to do uh, multi-track sequencing, essentially, and uh, sound synthesis <coughs> natively in, in the Game Boy. Uh, and uh, so, each of the programs enables you to do up to, I think, four simultaneous sounds, um, and uh, and affords you a pretty good deal of uh, of control uh, in manipulating the sound set. So, so the mixing in that respect is sort of done as part of the composition process and sequencing process. Right. And just to say a little bit more about the difference in the interfaces for each of the programs, Nano Loop is kind of a more um, abstract uh, interface for composing the music, where you have a four by four grid of um, tiles where you basically place uh, sounds into each of these tiles and then uh, the se sequencer runs through these tiles. Whereas uh, Little Sound DJ, which is the other um, cartridge that we both use, is uh, mm, it's more of a traditional uh, four channel tracker uh, like you would find for the Commodore 64 back in the, you know, the birth of the demo scene and things like that. Um, and the composition process for those two, obviously, since the interfaces are so drastically different, is pretty different. Uh, you can check out all of my tunes uh, for free at www.nullsleep.com, um, and you can check out uh, the group that both Josh and I are part of at uh, www.8bitpeoples.com. And I have some uh, some tracks available on uh, my website, which is www.bitshifter.cc. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Cool. <laughs>